so this is the beach where we'll spend our afternoon as soon as we've hopefully finished and successfully found Avonopelma Krinirufum and obviously there will be some Avonopelma Semani which we found yesterday and filmed yesterday so I'll also try to show them to you guys with this little camera um, anyway let's go So when I say that you should keep, or you could keep them more natural, I don't mean you have to do a dry season for like half a year and give them no water. But what I mean is you could scape your enclosure, your tarantula enclosure, just like this. Use a little bit of leaf litter from your local forest. Um, use some, some woods, some, some tree branches. Uh, place them somewhere on the ground so that it does look much more natural and then use a proper soil. I'll do another video on this topic so we'll just focus here on this area and you can see here is a hole which looks quite a lot like a Avonopelma crinirufum hole. Could be Semani too but usually there is leaf litter incorporated and since this leaf litter here is not used I would guess it's a Crinirufum you see here there is another small burrow right here you can see very small specimen so we will not disturb it um, since during the day it's almost impossible to bring them out anyway so so we're now searching off the main road it's much quieter here but uh, still there is an occasional car or motorcycle going through um, you can see it in the background this habitat is bone dry at the moment uh, rock solid ground and you can see there are occasional plants with green leaves but these roots reach uh, yeah, a bit far down into the ground and actually the forest is also quite green here the left side you can see it so if you keep them don't keep them bone dry always make sure that they have a place where there is water for example here you see that's a typical burrow of Avonopelma semani you can see they have incorporated leaves leaf litter and the entrance is actually um, silked so it is very easy to spot and this is the place this is a typical place and right next to it I've seen another one right over here so just about yeah two meters away there is the next burrow right here you can see silked I'll take some pictures um, I'll blend them in so you can see that they incorporate that they incorporate some of the leaf litter and now I'm scanning the area for maybe some bigger holes of adult specimens so we can maybe tickle one of them out um, to show them to you. You've seen it in a previous episode, Avonopelma semani, but it would be nice to get both species in this very episode. So another interesting fact regarding the Avonopelma species here in uh, Central America Regarding the genus Avonopelma, the type species of the genus Avonopelma is in fact Avonopelma semani, meaning that um, in case something yeah, will happen to the North American tarantulas of the Avonopelma group, if scientists decide that they belong to another genus because they're way too far away, both geographically and morphologically then 
it will actually be another genus for the North American ones. So, we just decided that we will come back at night because there are so many barrels like this one like this one over here um, there are so many barrels here is another one you see see the size so there are so many barrels that it actually would be beneficial to come back at night and we are here it's a uh, night time now and as promised we are now walking to the burrows we have found um, around I don't know five hours ago and we will see what we're going to find as you see we have a bit of water with us in case they are not that cooperative and we have to put some water in their barrel so they will come out so here is one barrel and we will now try tickle her and tickle her out um, I hope the light is not too bright but uh, we will see if she responds. I can see the legs. Nope. Um, this female is sitting at the entrance, so I hope. Ay, caray! So I hope. She will come outside. No. She doesn't respond at all. Yeah, now she's coming. Yeah, she grabbed a piece of dirt and has it now between her fangs. So that's probably not the meal she expected. But uh, well, here she comes again. Yeah. So it was well worth to come back here. Um, I'll try to switch to cameras now so we can get some close-up pictures and close-up macro shots. So I got it. Rito managed it. So Rito blocked. So Rito blocked the entrance uh, right about 15 centimeters behind the entrance barrel with the forceps from the other side. And now the tarantula is basically stuck, so she cannot go back into the hole. And she is now, with the stick we are using here, a little bit forcefully used, but gently forcefully used, to come out of the burrow, so we can take pictures and take photos. And after that, we can release her into her burrow. So the burrow is not destroyed at all. You can see the forceps behind and that's it we have one so we will film her up close um, she's in way better shape than the one uh, we filmed yesterday so she looks freshly molted or freshly air freshly air molted um, so all we have to do is like cover the entrance hole so that she cannot run back inside and after that we can take pictures photos and release her back into the very same barrel.
just gonna go inside. Yep. Looks promising. There you go. Voila! <laughs>